Let's try a couple more examples. Make sure that you've really got this down. So try to condense this one into a single sine function. Sine 2x minus cosine of 2x. Well, again, we have the same angle, so this is good. And these both have an implied coefficient of 1. So a equals 1 and b equals 1. What we're going to get here then is that square root of a squared plus b squared is going to equal the square root of 1 plus 1, which is the square root of 2. Those are our three important numbers. What we want to do next is determine what sine of phi is and what cosine of phi is. Sine is our, a, our b value over our a square root of a squared plus b squared value, which gives us 1 over root 2, which equals root 2 over 2. And you know what? b is actually negative 1. That's completely my fault. So sine of phi is actually negative 1 over root 2, which is negative root 2 over 2. Cosine of phi is positive 1 over root 2, which is root 2 over 2. We go to our unit circle. We find where cosine is positive root 2 over 2. There's two possibilities there. But we want sine to be negative root 2 over 2. This happens at either 315 degrees or 7 pi over 4 radians. Thus, phi is 7 pi over 4. We can now plug this all into our equation. We get this value here, our square root of a squared plus b squared, times sine of x plus phi. We get root 2 sine x plus 7 pi over 4. And that's our final answer. Okay, how about one more just for practice? Express the function in terms of a single sine. So again, we have sine and cosine both of the same angle. Sine has an implied coefficient of 1. This means a equals 1, b equals negative root 3. So square root of a squared plus b squared equals the square root of 4 equals 2. Then sine of phi equals b over 2, which is negative root 3 over 2. Cosine is 1 over 2. We go to our unit circle. If cosine is 1 over 2, but sine is negative root 3 over 2, this happens at 5 pi thirds. So phi is 5 pi thirds. So our final equation, which is the square root of a squared plus b squared sine x plus phi, ends up equaling 2 sine x plus 5 pi thirds. If I wanted to graph this, I'm graphing a sine wave with an amplitude of 2. And we're shifting sine 5 pi thirds to the left. Which is going to give us something that looks, let's see, roundabout. And for this graphing, this is just kind of extra information. For those of you who are interested, I'm more concerned that you come up with the equation. If you can do that, I'm happy. And there's our equation. 2 sine x plus 5 pi thirds. That's it.